Hello lovelies, welcome back, Gigi here for a new style of reading. Um, I hope you're well, thank you for joining me, I love and appreciate you, you guys know this is a collective energy reading, so take it how it is for you, place yourself in the reading where you belong, switch it, flip it, reverse it, you guys know what to do. Uh, today is July 18th, 2022, it is 8.56pm here in California. On the table today, we have the full Oracles of Ascension, Energy Oracle, Manga Tarot, Divine Guidance, my handwritten deck. Uh, we're just going to jump in, see what Spirit has to say. Let's see if this new uh, way of doing a reading works. I'm just trying something new, something to spice it up a little bit and see what we get, okay? Let's get started. Holy Spirit, please come down with your angels, my ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides that have ascended to your highest white light to protect and guide me through this energy reading for our collective. Holy Spirit, Please allow me to channel clear, honest, and precise messages for our collective and protect us all from any evil that may be lingering, evil eyes, and any dark energy that may be coming towards us. Please protect us from it and cast it all back to where it belongs, please, and thank you. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Let's see. I'm doing things differently, so, oh, what is this, a nail file? Um, we're not going, we're going to start with the wisdom, or excuse me, the Oracle of Ascendance. What I'm going to do is, I don't use this deck nearly at all, and I usually just use it for the Zodiac, but today I want to see what messages. I'm going to pull, we'll see, I don't know, we'll just go through it, see what spirit has us pull, maybe three or four cards, just to get the overall picture of what we need to be working on. What do we need to be working on, Collective? What is the energy of, of the Collective? What do we need to work on? What things need to be balanced? What can we do to help ourselves proceed with grace, come up from any darkness? What do we need to get in alignment, Spirit? Okay, Holy Spirit. For the Collective, please, what's the energy? What is the energy for the Collective? Let's just go all the way through it and see what we get. What do we got, Spirit? Thank you. Ooh, we got a crown chakra out of alignment, and I don't read these out of, I don't read these in the reverse. So, oh, and we got three. Okay. Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay. We have the crown chakra. And we have Chokuri. All right, so let's let's start here. I don't. There are there are things. Okay, I'm just gonna give me a second. Let me see what I find here. The crown chakra. Blah, 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 blah. Seven, seven. There we go. The seventh and highest chakra, also called the Sahasa Rara, is located at the crown or the top of the head. It is the center of enlightenment and spirituality and also represents the inner wisdom granted from one's higher self, as well as the knowledge of the universe. It resonates to the color white, colors white and purple, and the gemstone quartz, opal, and amethyst. When it appears in your cards, you are being guided to retreat within yourself to awaken latent abilities, find answers to questions, and to gain a higher and closer connection to the divine. This can be through meditation or th through activities that promote connection to higher consciousness, such as healing class, medical-based work, and even church services. It's up to you. It's up to you how you choose to recon uh, reconnect to the divine. But rest assured that you are being guided to do so for healing and self for do so for healing and self awakening. <clears throat> okay. What is this? I'm picking up on something. Something's like foggy and coming through. What card is that? Where's my book? It's the swords. I want to see it. What card are you showing me? This one. It's the five of swords. A battle is over, complete with a winner and a loser. Someone is walking away with all the prizes as well as confirmed enemies. Others are walking away with regret, feeling ba bad feelings, strong judgments, and probably a taste for revenge. Uh oh. Although he may not know it yet, the victor has al has also lost something valuable, perhaps his honor, integrity, values, or friends. These situations, this situation is confused, and that makes it hard to know what to do. 
the advice here if it's too late and the battle happened already make whatever restorations and move towards peace you can't somebody's holding a grudge a big one okay a big one I swear I like all I was doing was thinking about the crown chakra and spirit was showing me a man and then it went right into the five of was it the five of swords I want to say it was the five of swords yeah it was the five of swords I saw this an image of a man and then this card it all stems around somebody is holding a grudge it's clear it's cr clouding their intuition no 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 it's clouding it's clouding their belief system it's it's literally just being overpowered by spell work okay somebody's being overpowered by spell work they have lost and now they're reaping re they're reaping something and I'm being showed out shallow ego but shallow is just in such a um, such a big deal like this it's the way that spirit showing me is that five of swords that five of swords and just across I see sha uh, shallow somebody's holding a grudge that that no I'm being shown the word that and no revenge that they know and then it's dot 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 revenge somebody their head is clouded and they're in a f they're furious they're furious uh oh in tarot this is the devil this is the devil that capricorn energy oh yeah the darkness is definitely that they know and then it's dot 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 is revenge somebody's coming in and they're coming in hot they want to just like claw their skin off and rage out of their they just want to rage out of their body like it's like literally seeing a demon rip their like the skin of the human they embodied off and just raw. somebody is very upset you know it reminds me of this time I was in Vegas a long time ago and I was walking around I think it was the Luxor and this man came out completely raging probably lost thousands and thousands a lot like he must have been playing high stakes like poker or blackjack or whatever hold him um, and it was just he was enraged and I just see this person like is this in the physical on the nose big time spirit saying somebody is enraged they're holding a grudge and they're pissed off and looking for revenge and they know revenge well oh boy let's see what this is the chokuri somebody needs to get themselves in balance they need to get themselves together before they do something cuckoo crackhead okay considered to be the first base symbol in reiki work chokuri is also referred to as the symbol the power symbol it is a symbol given in the first degree level of reiki translated it means roughly put all the powers of the universe here it is most often drawn by the practitioner's own hand it's all it's most often drawn by the practitioner's own hand on each of his or her palms before, form, bleh, before performing a treatment. Chokuri resonates strength and endurance simply by being spoken. When its energy appears in your reading, you're being asked to focus on and maintain your own personal power in order to unblock the obstacles that currently stand in your way. Remember that obstacles are necessary in order for us to learn, grow, and develop. Chokuri's energy as the power symbol can assist on the physical level by helping you seize your own inner strength and maintain it to push forward endure and ultimately break the blockages of the mundane this here how I'm seeing this and please spirit correct me if I'm wrong is that you need to use your inner strength your like intellectual powers like that you know knowledge you know something you may have some kind of sacred knowledge you may know the way to somebody's heart you may know something and spirit is saying use that what information wisely don't use it to manipulate use start looking at healing whatever's going on up in your your crown chakra area 
and relax before you do something and you seriously regret it. Okay? Seriously. Because whatever grudge you're holding, whatever revenge you want, think logically about it. Don't just be in the heat of the, mo in the moment and use whatever knowledge you, you have, whether it's be about business, love, family, friend, whatever it is, to go over the deep end, you need to start healing whatever's going on inside of you. Okay? I want to see specifically what's... Scorpio, where's the cards? Let's see if this is worth reading. Capricorn, I have it here. Okay. Um, all Earth signs have a common have in common the need for security both physical and emotional and all the card cardinal signs initiate uh, initiate when the Capricorn appears in your reading it means that you must be the one to initiate an action that seeks security within the world or social order if you're seeking if you're holding a grudge and wanting to seek revenge to Um, land yourself in a position to where you are socially accepted by a certain group of people don't use somebody that may, you may think has some kind of emotional weakness to seek revenge now here's the thing do not because what I'm seeing is some kind of something here I'm seeing a work party a career something that involves somebody's career and they bring a beautiful woman on their arm and there's another woman they're trying to make jealous and I mean with the big time looking good smelling good curvy this you know dressed to the nines you know like what you would expect to see possibly like on the red carpet like you can tell this I see her in all black pencil skirt like black shirt heels it looks like there, there might be red bottoms like bring this person in looking as good as they could get and trying to make somebody jealous possibly for trying to ruin their reputation at work somebody got a heads up kind of a paint was paying attention to their intuition may have overheard something and they realized that they needed to do something Taurus, when Taurus appears, you are being made aware that your current events and situation are tests of your strength. Do not lose faith or your resolve. As the saying goes, if you want to see the rainbow, you have to make it through the rain. No situation is never ending. Refer to, the, okay. I don't think this is going to go the way you want it to and here's why the woman i'm seeing in black is the empress the other one that you're trying to make jealous is the copycat okay now i'm just showing I'm, I'm seeing a image i'm giving spirits giving me a premonition I see this woman looking bossed up like I mean she looks good I can't even explain it all black like you can tell she's got body she's got it all she's stacked everything like she's looking good smelling good and she is not playing no games like don't let me have to don't let me take my earrings out and have to break a nail whooping your ass like she don't play no games like the energy I'm getting off of this woman is like um, I'm the boss okay and the other one is so very childish that she's not going to know what to do and she may come up on the empress and it may end up not going the way you want because I don't think that empress is going to want to ruin her reputation as a classy woman just to get into a fist fight with a little girl. Okay? Or what seems to be the energy of a very childish person. Childish person. So if you are bringing this or wanting to bring this empress to try to make somebody jealous and cause a fight you will be sorely mistaken because the thing is is all she has to do is go like this and the girl might fall to her knees like don't play games this girl is this woman is don't looks very intimidating 
and she and she's like a no-nonsense kind of person okay the other one just seems like a child and the thing is is if little girl decides to get scrappy with an empress in a public party don't you think there's security don't you think the the woman is going to literally be like um no if you hit me you're going to get arrested i'm not going to do anything to you and it will make you look like a fool knowing that this girl was going to be there possibly because you got involved with somebody in your office and you think you're going to bring an empress in to do something about it nah like what what is this what is this that i'm picking up on like you legit are that you holding a grudge that much to this little girl that you fooled around with in your office that may have almost ruined your reputation re thank you spirit you almost lost your job possibly your reputation with people that hold you in high that you hold in high honor and now you want to bring possibly your twin and empress somebody that's bossed up in to, to handle your dirty work what kind of energy is this you need to get your shit together man you need to clear your head and you need to get some serious healing and learn how to be have inner strength to not do such childish shit because the thing is is honestly the Empress ain't going to deal with it. I'm being told not at all. Not at all. Damn, bro. Like, what is this? Let's see. When Scorpio appears, your skills of self-will are being called upon to get you through a difficult situation. You are being asked to draw upon your inner strength and passion to overcome the situation or event before you. Remember that you have the power to bring anything into creation through your drive and passion. Let me read that again. When Scorpio appears, your skills of self-will are being called upon to get you through a difficult situation. You are being asked to draw upon your inner strength and passion to overcome the situation or event before you. The thing is, Empress, if this is your reading and you're here listening to me, okay, here's what I want you to do. Understand that if there is somebody that comes a Empress... Hello, my darling. I want to invite you to this wonderful party. We're going to get all dressed up. We're going to just know that his old, his old, old office hoochie is going to be there. Prepare yourself. Maybe get a little bodyguard or something. I don't know. <laughs> but somebody is literally trying to put you in a situation to where you may have to scrap with a little childish person. Yeah. And the thing is, is when you bossed up and looking that good, smelling that good, rocking that kind of stuff, you don't have that kind of time to be d dealing with no babies, no childish men either. So just be prepared that there may be somebody very emotionally, very disturbed, emotionally unbalanced, mentally unbalanced and uh, holding a grudge and knows revenge and knows revenge very well. The thing is, is I really don't feel like he's going to come out the way he thinks he is. just the title no big deal okay so yeah right now collective whoever this is for i feel like the collective is the empress that's not playing no fucking games hands down okay look if there is somebody that is scorned and pissed off okay i i just it, and you're f picking up on somebody's energy i really feel like like what am I picking up on? What is this? 
maybe somebody's like you're feeling all bossed up you're feeling good you're feeling on top of the world you're doing everything right you're getting everything right you're being obedient to spirit you're doing everything getting in alignment working on yourself doing all the things the thing is is if this is your twin that's trying to come in and use you know your, the information about the twin flame situation between you two to come in and seek revenge on somebody that almost ruined him just be mindful and use your discernment use it use it well should i have any more do i need any more from here no can i put these okay now i want to get some energy what is the energy i want to see what um the energy oracle has to say I want to see what the energy oracle has to say. Okay. Can the collector, please? All the way through one time. Oh, what did I say? I'm, I cannot make it up. Yeah. There is a storm on the bottom. We'll just leave it there. Maybe there's something on the bottom at the end. There is a storm blowing up a whopper. Yeah, you see that? That right there is uh, the tornado that's about to whisk somebody off into a very um, interesting situation. There's a storm brewing. This masculine is pissed. He has a grudge. On, he's got a chip on his shoulder, a grudge in his heart, and he is wanting revenge. Like I've been saying, he may very well try to utilize the information about you two being twins to suck you into this whirlwind. Okay. Oh, man. Hang on a second. This is only a couple of days old, so the man in the picture is looking over a bay above which is the beautiful sphere of earth. The well, the sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and can contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so there is a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. Now is the time to think big, as they say. The world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. Oh, he may make you feel that way. He may come in looking like Fabio with that heart being like, come here, girl, let me show you what's good and extend that heart to you. And you're like, oh, yes, please, please. And he's like, let me, I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's, he, he may come in, come in there looking like straight up Fabio, looking all smooth and clean cut and looking good, smelling good, coming in. Oh, no, no, there, mm-mm. It ain't, he ain't trying to show you the world. The only thing he wants to see you do is fight her like Ronda Rossi, like, <laughs> Mm, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. He wants to see a girl fight and he wants to see you beat the ever living shit out of her. He thinks you scrap like that. You might have at one point. You may have, you may come across as that kind of person, but I feel like you're too worried about breaking a nail and making your hair go out of place. Like that's the kind of energy I'm picking up on this one from this empress. I just see the back of her. I mean, she looking good, smelling good. Like, you know, she bossed up. Man, this, uh, this right here aggravates me. He knows that you're twins. Oh, man. I think I'll put on the bottom. <sighs> Blooming abundance. He, know, he may very well see you bossing up. There could be some whatever going on. He may want, he, you know, you may work in the same office too. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but he knows what's going on with you. And he sees you grow, like, he sees you as this bossed up woman that just, I mean, I'm, she, this is what, in my opinion, high class, like, it, it looks like somebody that likes to dress up in 50s pinup with the pencil skirt, black shirt tucked in, beautiful handbag, seam stockings, and black patent leather Louboutins. I'm like, I see, that's all I see is in the back. 
This could be the way he's thinking. This could be his plan of what he wants to do is to bring you in to fight his battles with a woman because he is pissed. He is pissed. Anything more from this? No? Okay. Okay, spirit. Yeah. Alright, just let's go through the deck one time for the one time. Let's see what's good. Don't, you, I, you know, I'm going to just make it so you can see it. Don't, I, this is in the upright. Where is it? This one is in the upright if I were to move it, okay? Look, do not use the knowledge. Don't be childish and use that knowledge of you two being twins to go ahead and do anything like this. To try to use magic to manipulate somebody through their heart strings. Don't try to affect somebody's heart chakra space now with magic. Okay. Don't do it. Don't use that. Don't be childish with the knowledge that you have. Don't do it. I wouldn't suggest it. It's not going to turn out the way that you think it's going to. I really don't suggest it. What else? Spirit, anything else? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Don't make this person think that you're going to have happily ever after with them, okay? Because you're pissed off. You get, you get bored too easily. This is what this is telling me. Yeah. Let's see what else is here. You got the Page of Wands and the Knight of Coins. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a very childish energy. And the Page of Coins. Oh, dear God. In the reverse. I'm being told, I'm being shown less of the loins, hands down. That's what got him involved with this office hoochie, this little sea witch that very much could have ruined him, but good. Okay? But good. When I see this, it's like almost like I want to say he was being Prince Savaho financially and uh, throwing money at her, making her think that she was going to have this. But in reality, he, she must have caught him somehow with you, Empress, or something like that. Or he was talking about her and just pushed her aside and made her second feel like second best and she couldn't take it. And she went off and tried to, you know, go. It, it's obviously that they work together. Okay. It's obvious. It, either it's obvious that they work together or they know they're part of the same group, but they're at the same party, whether it's an office party or a friend party, whatever. They're both going to be at whatever event this is. He was giving her money, taking her on adventures, doing fun things because she's pretty. And I'm being, from the beginning, I'm being shown the word copycat. Okay? Of you, Empress. To a T. In so many ways, but the ones that really matter that make her wifey material. Mommy dearest, wifey poo, happily ever after. Okay? You saw her, she was pretty, she was right there in front of you and you were able to have her. You threw some money at her and she played Barbie doll. She allowed you to, to make her over into whatever you wanted her to be and all. she just shut up about it because she just wanted your money. These two, I want to read what these are exactly in the reverse. Sorry. Give me just a second. Why am I ignoring what I know I should be doing? Am I attributing the call to something that really isn't a call or just to, in order to justify what I want to do? I understand now. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit was watching you the whole time, whoever this is, whoever this masculine. He was being, Spirit was watching him, but good. Understand? He was watching everything he was doing with the Empress and what the Empress was doing in her personal life and what he was doing on the outside of the relationship with the Empress and he was doing it to the, the copycat. Okay? He saw everything. Okay? 
spirit knows this will never be an option with this masculine because he gets bored easy. He likes to play games. He's emotionally damaged to the 10th degree and refuses to follow his ancestors down the path. He refuses to see the light. That's why the hermit is in reverse in this case. This girl messed with his abundance. This girl messed with his status, his social status, his re reputation in all aspects of life. She went, she went for blood, and now he's, he's holding a grudge about it, and he wants blood. And he may very well try to bring a very big storm to an empress. And that's you, collective. I really feel that's somebody in the collective, okay, or whatever. You could be the one that's planning this, watching this, whatever you do, you know, cross watchers beware. Um, look, if you're going to try to use this with an empress to seek revenge on a childish person that was using you, nah, I wouldn't suggest it. Anything else from here? One more shuffle all the way through. Yeah. I wouldn't suggest it, but hey, if you're interested in going out to sea in that kind of weather, go for it. But I don't I think you're messing with the force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I really feel like you're messing with a force that doesn't need to be messed with, especially somebody that's passionate and that holds their ground and sets boundaries. We have death in reverse. That's Scorpio again. You're not going to have the begin the new beginning that you think you are. Oh, and we got Aquarius out here too. Aquarius energy. Don't look. The world is your oyster. Wish fulfillment, budding, uh, bl blossoming abundance, and all of this. It's not going to be yours. There is going to be a major ego death. Okay, major. Give me a second. I want to make sure what I'm, I believe this card, the meaning that Spirit's giving me. I want to just check it in the book. Yeah. I feel like what I was going to say is that you need to take a rest and work on your realigning your chakras and clearing your mind and doing some healing work. Okay. I also believe that because of how angry you are, you, this is becoming an obsession on how you're going to plan it out so strategically. Okay, whoever this masculine is, I feel this masculine is going through the, uh, he's literally sitting there with a journal planning it out. Like, how do I do this? How do I plan this? What can I say? How do I deal with this? How do I get it to feel as authentic as possible? What can I do? Because he is a manipulator. He had, the thing is she, whoever this copycat is, she messed with him being the center of attention. She messed with his social status in his community. And he is not happy about it at all. She may have felt like a wish fulfillment for him because she let him get away with everything that the Empress would have never. And she was just there as a karmic, a karmic vessel to teach you some lessons. And I'm telling you, you're, you're, you playing this game over here, being bored and just starting fights just to see what happens and shit like that, nah. You you put you put it on the wrong one. You got involved with the wrong one, dude. Like I'm telling you, you're in for you're in for it, man. Okay. I'm going to read this verbatim because I think this is very important. This card looks like loss, but it's more about the emotional reaction to the loss. And the thing is, have you lost I don't know if it has this masculine lost his job. Not at all. Not at this moment. Something like this. I, I don't know. I'm being so... Okay, I'm, am I allowed to know? No, I'm not being allowed to know. Not at all. I mean, like, I at all. That's not what we're here to talk about. It's how he's handling the situation. Okay? Okay. 
it's it may blow up in your face she may uh, can I say that okay spirit can I say that okay she may go as far as possibly harassment charges against you masculine whoever the masculine is she wants to break you and basically spit on you. it's like she wants to see you break and then she, it looks like somebody's spitting on somebody's grave and walking away like <laughs> holding the arm of the other man kind of deal I don't know somebody more powerful than you wants to end up with somebody like I don't know if her position in the in the office but she wants to be on the arms of someone else making that is in your position and she's doing whatever she can to fuck with you because of the Empress and it's how you're both reacting to this that's going to be very much the ego death that you both need you both may end up losing your jobs both of you because they don't want the fucking drama which makes sense is why you don't get in per you should not be fraternizing with anybody in the office ay 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 this is why you don't shit where you're, you eat, bro. No matter what your fucking status is. What's the matter with people? I, 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 I tell you what. Some people, sh I just, some people. This is not going to be the start to a new life that you think it's going to be. You think you're just going to have a little Miss Empress come in, handle your dirty work, and then you're just going to drop her on the nose big time because he gets bored easy. She was just bringing her in to do the dirty work. Throw her some cash and send her on her way. And the thing is, is the Empress may very well take that wad of cash and throw it in your face, flip you off, and get into a nice looking car and take off. Like as if she was planning on already being picked up by somebody else because she knew you were up to no good. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't play with this woman. Like, you are not going to get the result. You will end up standing there, possibly jobless, friendless, empressless, copycat is gone, and everybody's turning against you. It may be the ego death of a lifetime. So the grudge that you have in your heart, the revenge in which you want to seek, you may want very well want to be careful. Because this girl is doing it for the reaction, but good. The reaction is what she's looking for. It'll just prove her. It'll just give her the satisfaction and the power. And this empress will not be involved in that. She may use her discernment and follow through and just see what where it goes. Just to kind of like close out the cycle and be, let it be done. And just literally have um, wash your hands of it and turn you over to spirit. I'm being shown the word high priestess. Don't do that to this empress. She's worthy of so much more. She's worth and worthy of so much more than what you're planning because she she will she'll hang you to dry, man. She will leave you standing there with your jaw on the deck as she walks one of the, you know her little self and gets in a car with a whole other person and leaves without you. The copycat leaves with somebody else, and you're I really that's like I see you jobless, fired on the spot, released from whatever it is that you were in, involved with. And both the girls leave you standing there alone with your tail between your legs sobbing. That sucks, bro. Anything from here, spirit? There's the copycat. What was I saying about call your power back and hold on to it tightly? She's going to take all your... If you, if you react like this, if this masculine reacts like this... Not only will he end up have, losing all his power because he will lose his social status, possibly job and relationship with, with people, both his empress and the copycat and anybody that may have had any, uh, even the slightest bit of respect. Okay, and it's going to close the door on a whole lot of relationships over a copycat. The way He overreacted to a copycat because he's holding a grudge that she tried to go for blood. You may want to believe in um, the Most High and surrender. 
that may save you. What's underneath here? Yeah, you need to, there's no more indecisive behavior. There shouldn't be any more indecisive behaviors. But if you do, feel free to uh, not entrap anybody else in your nonsense, nonsense drama and deal with it on your own, okay? Have I turned my back on something I shouldn't have? Am I making an unnecessary martyr of myself? Have I given up control I shouldn't have? If you react the way I feel like you may react with being this kind of childish masculine i really feel like you will you're going to regret what you did and that's that don't do any black magic just just i wouldn't do any black magic if, if i were you please don't become obsessed to the point of involving yourself in think the occult that you and you don't understand it be mindful of the high priestess and the high priest that you go to with this stuff love spells just think genie of the lamp you can't bring anybody back from the dead and you can't make anybody fall in love with you there's free will for a reason yeah oh are we stalking god help me why i know you're the right girl but do you think don't come in with that you don't come in with that i'm asking you nicely don't come in that with that none of the people in this collective deserve any of that and if you're in this collective and this is you being and you this masculine, you need to get yourself together. If you listen to Gigi, we here we are here with open minds, open hearts, and a lot of love, and we vibrate at a higher frequency. Yeah, I got an attitude, and I'll tell it like it is, and I'm not. I can get a little ghetto, but my spirit knows my heart. Okay, this I would never do to somebody. This is the some of the lowest vibrational energy I've seen. Okay. Don't come in saying, I know that it's you, my princess. I love you. I need you. Uh, you know, I didn't realize that you, you know, you and I were really meant to be like this, and I'm here and I want to see you. And yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't suggest it because this person, like I said, is bossed up probably since the separation between you two. Okay. I've been saying it like I see her. She's bossing up. She's doing all the damn things. You're not going to be able to manipulate this person. She may just go. Just if spirit leads her, I, I really feel like there may be a high priestess involved in this. I really feel like it. she's going to follow what spirit says. And if she does end up going there with you, it's to teach you a lesson about how to be nice to people instead of seeking social acceptance. Being nicer to people being honest with people instead of being a manipulator well, yeah this is all stuff i've been saying what's on the butt don't use the knowledge you know about this person she may love you she may have had feelings for you at one point you guys share a soul i really feel twin flame especially with fabio and the little lady over here yeah the thing is is yes with all that you because we see this right now because what she's doing now is you i can tell that you're watching this person and you're watching this person with a uh, with a serious like magnifying glass, okay? Because you are a you are in a very shady character, master manipulator kind of energy. I've been picking up on this this whole reading, okay? It ain't gonna work. You're not gonna come in. I mean, you can. She's gonna know. She's gonna know. Spirit's gonna tell her. She ain't gonna. The spirit ain't gonna. Mm -mm. And if you're. It, it, mm -mm. Don't use her come up um, against her. And what I mean by that is don't use it against her by saying, oh, you look so beautiful. I'm so glad to see you taking care of yourself. It's because she bossed up while you were off dealing with this little copycat. She did what you were doing. She need, did what she needed to do. She took adv full advantage about, you know, being left for a false twin, possibly, and now, you know, that was seeking social acceptance and knew about lost all of yours. I mean, I can't believe it. I mean, I can. It, nothing surprises me anymore since I started doing this. It really doesn't. Anything further, Spirit? Yeah, this is all what I've been saying. I know what I feel. Anything else, Spirit? Final messages? No. Marriage is a sacred union not to be taken for granted. So if you're looking to come in and, and say your love frees my soul, 
uh, and, and get engaged and have this perfect proposal and all the beautifuls and the hearts and the rainbows. It, the thing is, is if you are in this shady character, master manipulator type energy, it's because the devil has completely possessed this man and he's looking for cracks in your divine armor female empress. Okay. He may do everything right. He may do everything right. Everything. And when it comes down to it, when he brings you to wherever it is, it's going to be for one reason, and that's to break, it's to see you break her in half. I wouldn't suggest, honestly, I wouldn't suggest going. But if you feel like spirit's leading you to go just to see where this goes, I would, like I said, I feel like if this man does this and it really ends up like he wants to see you two fight, I would have somebody on backup so you can just walk the, sashay yourself right out of that situation and get into the car with somebody else and be gone and be done with it. Say goodbye. This was your last shot. I'm done. And, uh. If you choose not to go, I'd give him a chance to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and then send him on his way. Cho use your discernment. Listen to spirit. Protect yourself. I can't say it. I can't say it more. If you want to go to the celebration with him, if you want to do it, and he's, he's taking you out and he's treating you nice and he's whisking you away and he's doing all the things right, and you feel like you should go, like I said, cover your ass or you're going to be crying in a corner somewhere because you got manipulated if you don't use your discernment. But I think Empress, you wouldn't have earned your Empress status if you weren't paying attention to what's going on up in the crown chakra space. So I think your mind is clear and I think you're focused and I think you were on a spiritual journey. Absolutely. And I feel like you're going to listen and be obedient to spirit, which is why you're going to get, you're in that blossoming abundant status. I really think so. So, look, if you want to go and have a date with Fabio, and you know he's up in that devil energy, just be mindful. Just be mindful that there's a storm brewing and it's waiting for you wherever it is that he's planning on taking you. So, like I said, if you want to just see it out and see what happens, go for it. If it's just for your entertainment purposes to go through the motions and see whatever you got to do. But I would highly suggest in this moment I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. I don't feel like it's worth it. I really don't. In this moment, I do not feel like it's worth it. I feel like if you're going to go, that you better use your discernment and have somebody on the backup. Because there's that woman. There she is. She's the one that he's been, you know, paying out and being little Miss Sugar Baby, little Miss Office Hoochie under the desk kind of deal. Yeah. Thinking it was a caring connection. But the thing is, is it was. And he gets bored easy. He gets bored easy, and he either she was getting bored easy, or he was one way or another. They were both getting bored. They were both playing each other. And now it got to the point where somebody was about to lose their job or lose their reputation, whatever it was. I feel like somebody is literally trying to push you out of your job for somebody else that they want to be on their arm and they want to look good with them. They want to have that kind of money. They want to have that kind of lifestyle. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They're trying to take the world away from your whole world. They're trying to take it for themselves. Good luck. I, I kind of feel bad, but then I also don't because if you were messing around behind her, her back and she caught you, well, to whomever this is, y'all were both seeking social acceptance and uh, some people's worlds are about to crumble. Oh boy. Don't make it out to a power couple in the making, seeking so That's what you thought? You guys were going to take over the office and rule the world together? Yeah, well, I guess that didn't happen. So, I don't know. I was going to do something different, but maybe that was a little bit different. I don't know. It was a good reading. Anything further, Spirit? No? Are we we're good with this one? All right, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides for coming through on this reading to help me through this reading. I close this reading. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'm glad that you guys were here with me for this one because I don't know what the hell is going on. I really don't because this is ridiculous. I really feel like there are some people that are just losing their mind in the world these days, like with the big time. I don't understand why. Nor maybe I maybe I'm just not supposed to understand, but this is getting ridiculous. Like I just can't.
cannot believe that this masculine would want to actually sit there and try to get an empress to fight a child. Like, it, I don't think this person's an actual physical child, but they mentally and emotionally and spiritually immature. And this masculine is trying to do all that business. Nah, you need to get in balance and stop letting your emotions rule you because that there is just crazy. Don't seek a lion out on a lamb. Okay, and this person may not be a, like a lamb by heart, but they just look like in comparison, there's no match. Like, it's crazy what I'm picking up on. It's like the image of this masculine with this girl on his arm, this empress on his arm will not leave me. And the, the girl is just having a fit. Like, I can't believe she does. It's like almost like she does exist. They do exist, you know, like when the M&Ms get, you know, see Santa come down the chimney and stuff, and they're, he, they're like, he does exist, and he's like, they do exist, you know, kind of deal, like, they're shocked that, like, holy shit, they both do exist, and, like, I don't know, maybe they both know about each other, I don't understand what this is, however, it seems like it's coming with the quickness, it's like a freight train spirit showing me the chariot card, and it's, like, going at full at full force it's like the freight chain train coming straight for somebody possibly during leo season i don't know keep me posted in the comments down below folks all right i think that's everything all right i'm gonna i'm gonna be done for now until the next time guys i love you bye